Welcome to Ask a Best-Selling Author. I am here today with author Cassie Parks. My name is Angela Loria. I'm the founder of The Author Incubator, and we are proud to be the publisher of several of Cassie's books and her upcoming book. Um, Cassie, I wanted to ask you today as a best-selling author, how do you know if you're writing the right book? This is such a great question. Uh, my immediate answer is you know. Based on my law of attraction self, right? That's probably not the most helpful answer, but really it is about you know you're called to write that book. Um, but the other, the more practical reasons is you know why you're writing the book. Like if you're just writing to write, it's probably not the right book unless that's your goal. So it all comes down to what's my intention with the book? What do I want my outcomes to be? And I always go back to what do you want your life to look like because you have a book, and if you know, the book supports the outcome that you're looking for, then it's the right book for this moment. All right, here's my answer for this based on working with you for four books. Mm -hmm. Your first book, you really went through the 13-week program in about 13 weeks. But yep. starting with your second book, mm -hmm. you started writing your books really quickly. I remember with real yeah. estate investing, it was three days. Um, I think for lifestyle design, you did something similar. Mm -hmm. So you write your books really quickly. Yeah. How often after you start writing do you experience writer's block? Uh, when I, I rarely experience yeah. writer's block. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. You're writing in flow because you get super clear. Like a lot of people are like, well, how, how can you write so many books? How right. Like you've written four <laughs> books in a year. Like, well, who does that? So, but here's the answer is you get so clear on the outcome mm -hmm. up front. Yeah. You get so clear on what the book is about, then literally the length of time it takes you to write your book is however long it takes to physically like type that many words. Yeah. It is a lot of words, so it's a lot of typing, but pretty much if you stay up for two days straight and type, you have a book and you very rarely get writer's block. I've seen you have like a paragraph or two that you'll come back to me and ask me for advice on. Yep. So one of the ways I know you're writing the right book is if you weren't in alignment, it would show up as writer's block. And we almost never talk about that with you. That's so true. That's my answer. Yeah, that was that's the that's a great answer because it just happens. Like the book almost writes itself. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Has your book written yourself written itself, or have you felt like you've channeled a book or download? Do you feel like you're like channeling it or downloading it from the universe? Mine. I don't feel like mine. I feel like it just writes itself. It's just like there. Yeah. yeah. Have you had that experience, or on the other hand, have you bumped into writer's block? We'd love to hear your comments and questions about this topic. Leave them below um, and we will chime in. Um, and also stay tuned in your Facebook feed. When you see the two of us, it's a different video. Um, so you might yes. see us, we might look the same, <laughs> but really it's a different video, so click on that. We've got a bunch of these coming out, just quick little snack size information for you to help channel the law of attraction to get your book done.